Can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given that x squared minus x minus 1 equals to 0, then what is the value of x raised to 8 plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. So, we want to find the value of x raised to 8 plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power, given that x squared minus x minus 1 equals to 0. Here's one of the possible solutions to this kind of question. First thing we need to do is to solve for the value of x. So, using quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, on the given quadratic equation, a must be the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. So, we can replace all a with 1. Next, b is the coefficient of x, which is negative 1. So, we can replace all b with negative 1, like this. And the value of c is the constant, which is negative 1 also. Now, let's simplify. Negative times negative 1 is just positive 1. Negative 1 squared is just 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, and finally 1 plus 4 will give us 5. Therefore, the value of x given this equation, this quadratic equation, must be 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2, or simply the golden ratio. Now, let's set aside this result. Now, take note that we want to find the value of x raised to 8 plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power. So what we're going to do here is to manipulate this quadratic equation to get the value of x raised to the fourth power and x raised to 8. So first thing to do is to add x and add 1 on both sides. This will give us the value of x squared as x plus 1. Now let's set aside this result. Now to get the value of x raised to the fourth power, let's square on both sides. So we have x squared quantity squared equals x plus 1 quantity squared. Now, if we do that, x squared quantity squared is just x raised to the fourth power, and x plus 1 squared is just x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, we know the value of x squared. This is just x plus 1. Now, let's simplify. x plus 2x must be 3x, and 1 plus 1 is just 2. Therefore, we get the value of x raised to the fourth power as 3x, plus 2. Again, let's set aside this result. And now let's continue. Let's solve for the value of x raised to 8. Again, let's square on both sides. Now the left-hand side is just x raised to 8. And on the right-hand side, we have 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. If we simplify this expression right here, 3x plus 2 quantity squared, we get 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. Now, this x squared right here, we know this is just x plus 1. So we can replace this x squared with x plus 1. Now let's simplify. Let's distribute this 9 to x plus 1. This is just 9x plus 9. 9x plus 12x is just 21x. And 9 plus 4 is just 13. And now we have the value of x raised to 8, which is 21x plus 13. Now, let's have the given expression that we want to evaluate. We have x raised to 8 plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power. Now, I don't like to substitute right away the value of x raised to 8 and x raised to the fourth power. Because if we simplify this, let's see what will happen. x raised to 8 plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power, if we add this, we get x raised to 12 plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power. Now, this x raised to 12 is just x raised to the fourth power raised to 3. And now this 1 can be written as 1 cubed. So this reminds me of the identity that if we have a cubed plus b cubed, it is equivalent to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Therefore, the numerator of this fraction can be factored as follows. We have x to the fourth plus 1 multiply by x raised to the fourth quantity squared minus x raised to the fourth power plus 1. 
And now take note that x raised to the fourth power quantity squared is just x raised to the eighth power. Now, we have x raised to the fourth power. So we can replace this as 3x plus 2. So this x raised to the fourth power right here can be written or can be replaced by 3x plus 2. Also, this x raised to the fourth power on the denominator can be replaced again with 3x plus 2. Lastly, this x raised to the fourth power right here must be replaced by 3x plus 2. Take note that we need to have a parenthesis because we have a subtraction sign. Now, let's simplify first. 2 plus 1 will give us 3. Now, let's distribute this negative sign. This will give us negative 3x minus 2. Now, negative 2 plus 1 is just negative 1. Finally, this x raised to 8 can be replaced by 21x plus 13. Again, let's simplify. 21x minus 3x is just 18x. 13 minus 1 is just 12. Notice that if we factor out 6 in this expression 16x plus 12, this will give us 6 times 3x plus 2. And now, we have a factor of 3x plus 2 on the numerator and 3x plus 2 on the denominator. So we can cancel both of them. This will give us 6 times the quantity 3x plus 3. Now, factor out 3. Therefore, our constant becomes 18 or 6 times 3 and it is multiplied by x plus 1. Now, the value of x is given which is 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. So we can replace this x with 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or simply the golden ratio. Now, let's simplify. This one can be written as 2 over 2. So we can now add them. So 1 plus 2 is just 3, so this will give us 3 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, 18 divided by 2 will give us 9. Therefore, the value of the expression a while ago is just 9 multiplied by 3 plus or minus square root of 5. Therefore, our answer to this question, given that x squared minus x minus 1 equals to 0, then the value of x raised to 8 plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power must be 9 multiplied by 3 plus or minus square root of 5. And as always, we are done.